tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly add colour to type, particular gradient colour. Now if I'm actually just going to remove this and then I'm just going to actually add some type. So I'm just going to go here type and let's set the size a bit bigger than that, 72 so you can actually see it and type. Now at this point you think oh, it'd be great if there was a colour option so I'm just going to but of course there isn't. You go there and you go to properties the only option is colour, it's a solid colour. But if you want to add a gradient, just quickly go to a layer and layer style and gradient overlay. And then straight away, you've got a gradient there. Now, one good thing about this also is that you can actually now add additional gradients. So you don't have to just go with one gradient. You can actually make a much more colourful design very quickly just by clicking this plus and then modifying that. And you can modify the gradient. I'm just going to go for a different gradient and combine them differently using the difference. Just going to select another one. These gradients are actually available on the Graphic Extras website, but of course you, those ones are default ones, but these ones, Graphic Extras. Now, click OK. So you've got that. There's also another way. Well, actually there's a few other ways, of course, but as with most things in Photoshop, but I'm just going to quickly go and show the next obvious one, and that's Horizontal Type Mask. Now this one, you actually have to set the type first, where well, you can use selections, but I'm just going to transforms, and I'm just going to set it, I would prefer just to set it and then click where I want to actually add it, so type, click OK, and then go over to the gradient tool, and again you've got the gradients there, you've got so those ones, and just quickly apply the gradient that way. And again you can use blending modes, difference, to create far more complex gradient fields than before. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.